we're going to review exactly how to get yourself set up in terms of the DMARC setting, D-M-A-R-C setting in your email system and what to do. So there's a website called easydmark.com. That's where we're going to start. If you go to that website, sign up for free for a account and put your contact information in there. And then it's going to have you press a button to send an email to your email address for you to confirm your email address, which will bring you to this page. Welcome to Easy DMARC. Press Get Started. And then once you do, it's going to ask how you heard about the software. So in our case, we put referral. And then it's going to ask, what domain do you want to manage? So in this example, we have nancyguberti.com, which I am going to add after I've typed it in. And then I'm going to get two choices, manage from easy DMARC and then manage from DNS host. My preferred method is to manage from DNS host, and then we're going to press select, where we're going to be presented with bits of information that we're going to have to put into our hosting website. So you have a website, and it's hosted by a organization, and you have to go into the hosting account for your website and put these two pieces of information, the host and then the value. So you copy the host information, you go to your hosting website that you're using, and then you press add a record. What type of a record? A text record, TXT. You paste the name and the section on the left. You then come back here, you copy the value, you put that into text section on the right, and you press save. And then you get a confirmation message saying you've successfully saved the following TXT record for your website. Then to confirm that you come back here and you press verify. It loads, tells you that the record has been successfully verified, and then brings you to the congratulations page. Now this is one of the measures you're going to want to implement in light of the updates coming to Gmail and Yahoo now. Again, as a reminder, why did we do this? Because this is a setting that Gmail and Yahoo says that they're going to look for starting on February 1st, 2024. If you have it, you'll increase your chances of being able to appear in their main primary inbox. If you don't have it, it'll be a strike against you that increases your chances of having your emails go to your client's sent fold, a spam folder. And for emails that go to the spam folder, of course, it's reasonable and, and very much uh, accurate to say that they may very well never be seen if they end up in the spam folder. Between this and other email practices that are good for your email marketing efforts like managing how many and reviewing how many people open your emails, click on the links in your emails, and reviewing if anybody has any uh, complaints or marks your emails as spam. Those are all important signals to regularly monitor for the purpose of your email list health. And if you would like this done for you and set up for you, then feel free to go to michaelguberti.com, my website. There'll be a form on there, and you could submit it with your contact information, a message about what you're looking for, whether it's you want this set up correctly for your business so your emails in, have increased chances of going to the main primary inbox instead of ending up in the spam folder, or if you're looking for a to Z marketing solutions to help your business reach more people and connect with more potential customers, then you can feel free to type that in there depending on what your needs are. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. Good luck with the verification process and have an excellent day.